Well, here you go, guys. This is the G-Shock Mudmaster. It came in today. Excellent watch. Not really going to go over the functionality of the watch. I'll, throw you, I'll show you a couple of things, but there's so many videos on this watch that, well, there's a, there's a few out there that really cover it, but a lot of them are just friggin' music videos showing the watch off on somebody's wrist and not really speculating anything about what it does or what the person, their opinion of it. There's just a couple of videos out there, but... Uh, the main thing that sold me on this watch was the compass. I like that compass option. Gives it a second to load up. Basically the second hand turns into your north pointer. As you can see it keeps adjusting back to north. Right now it's at northeast. And then it gives you the degree at the top. But it's a cool watch. It's got that compass thing going for it. back into time zone uh, what else can we do we can show temperature it's probably gonna read hot because I've been playing with it yeah it's saying it's 80 degrees when I first picked this watch up it gave the correct accurate temperature see the temperature up there it says temperature down there it shows Fahrenheit at the top it says it's 81 no it's been a it says it's 81 because it does pick up the heat of my body and it does pick up the fact that I've been playing with it and the, the watch gets, you know, a little bit of heat as you're messing with the gauges. But uh, it's steadily rising, but when I first picked it up, it was 72 degrees, which was accurate for my house. So if you leave it alone for 30 minutes, it adjusts itself and it gets you right back to where it should be. Uh, oh, I went further into the compass mode. That's the light. Let's back out of this compass. It's a... Uh, See, it's, it's set for Ohio, which I've got to fix that. That's the factory settings. Uh, I have it set for New York time zone. That's an alarm. That's the New York time zone, Pacific Standard Time. It's 11.51 at night. It's Tuesday. And that is just your basic functions. It's got other stuff, several alarms. It's got two different time zones, which you saw. The compass, a thermometer. Uh, it's got auto it auto bleh, auto sets itself during uh, daylight savings time, so it'll fix itself during that. It's got a few things going for it. The only thing it doesn't have going for it, it doesn't have that solar power, which I wish it did. Uh, tactical Bruce, you've got the step up on this watch, which has the solar power, the atomic clock, the six positioning, global positioning, and all the other great stuff that that the more expensive watch has. But uh, what's disappointing about this watch to me is the price point of this watch being a $320 watch retail. And uh, there are several G-Shock models out there that only cost, and we're talking retail, 100 bucks. And then we're talking what it appears in the store, $40, $50, Walmart, Target, that have... <laughs>